Hey guys, what's up? It's Michael Zonke, and in this guide I'm going to be showing you how to start out in divination and some tips and tricks that can get you to higher levels as fast as possible. So first of all, when you're level 1 divination, you've just logged in, the new skills come out, and you're really excited to try it out. Um, you want to go to Draenor Village, and then run to the south of there, and this is the location where you can start divination. And there will be a lot of newer players here, but basically what you will see is a large area and there's going to be a large like collection pool in the middle or an energy rift and a whole bunch of little wisps around um, or pale springs and if you want to know more information you can always talk to these people up here like Orla Fail Fairweather that's kind of where I learned out how to train divination was by talking to her and she gives you information but anyway um, you'll see these little wisps um, flying around and when you click on them they they turn into pale springs and you just want to click harvest on the pale springs and you'll start getting divination XP and you'll get pale memories and pale energy so once you collect a few uh, pale memories you go to the collection pool and you want to click the middle option I would recommend that um, this gives you strictly divination XP this one turns your energy and your memories into divination XP and this one turns your ener your memories into energy um, but you just want to click the middle one, and that'll just strictly deposit your ener your memories into the uh, energy rift, and you'll get XP for that. And then um, you can also weave this pale energy to make uh, items. Uh, you can make like I'm not sure what the portents are, but you can make a bronze rock which will last for a little while, and then you can just mine it. Um, a Kevit burrow that you can hunt. Um, obviously, these aren't very useful because they're just very low level items but you want to save up your pale energy you don't want to use it um, until you reach level 10 and then you can make a boon of pale energy and uh, what that will do is that will give you a quite large amount of XP um, once you reach level 10 and also once you reach level 10 you can move on to the next area which I'm going to show you guys now you just want to go to the Falador Lodestone and once you're at the Falador Lodestone, you run to the east, and uh, the divination location is going to be here. And here, instead of uh, pale energy, you're going to be gathering flickering energy. So you just want to harvest these uh, these pools, these uh, flickering springs, as they're called. And as soon as you harvest a few, you just go into the middle. Also, um, at this location, instead of just gathering flickering memories, you'll also gather enriched flickering memories. The only difference between these and flickering memories is enriched uh, flickering memories give twice the XP, so you want to look out for those. Um, occasionally, instead of just a regular flickering, flickering spring, uh, you'll see an enriched flickering spring. And what that will do is strictly give you enriched memories, which give you a lot more XP. So if you see any of those, it basically just looks exactly like these springs, but much larger. Um, from training to 10 to 20, I only saw two of them the entire time. So they're not very common. But if you see any of those enriched flickering springs, you definitely want to um, you want to try and grab yourself one. Now I'll show you guys what I meant with the boons earlier. Um, I saved up some flickering energy while I was training from 10 to 20. So now that I have a fair amount, I can make a boon of bright energy, and I'm going to do that. And I have not done this before, so even I am not completely sure what's going to happen. I will permanently receive bonus energy and experience when converting bright memories. So that's a permanent boost to XP, which is very good. Um, also, I got a little bit of GP for a task there. So always make sure every time that you're harvesting energy to actually uh, make a boon, and you... Um, yeah, just want to you want to save up your flickering memories or whatever the flickering energy, um, and it costs 300 energy to make a boon with the flickering one, and it only costs 100 with the pale ones. So you just want to make sure that you save those up. And I'm going to show you guys the next location uh, after this. So obviously you can only harvest the pale energy at level 10, and at level 20 or at level. At level 1 you can only harvest the pale energy, at level 10 you can only harvest the flickering energy, and now that I myself am level 20, it means that I can come to this dig site area and I can harvest these uh, bright wisps, the bright energy, which is the next level. And there's a, n a new one at level 30 that you can harvest, and then a new one at level 40 that you can harvest. So it's much like before, you can get enriched memories, you can get regular memories, and you want to save up your bright energy to make a boon once you reach level 30. 
Um, I imagine it probably costs more energy. So if we just click on this, uh, a boon of bright energy is actually going to cost 500 energy. And for what I'm, from what I've been hearing, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or if it was intended to, but you can actually make more than one boon. So apparently that helps out. And also another thing is, if you saw me just um, right-click that really fast, it was a chronicle fragment. It looks like a little orange ball that flies through the air. Um, they're very hard to get because other people always click on the chronicle fragments. Uh, there's another one. Other people always click on those things, and if they get it before you do, then you can't get one. Um, but anyway, you want to collect those chronicle fragments. Here's another one right here. I'll try to get it. Yeah, okay, I got a chronicle fragment. So you can stack up to ten of these in your inventory. Um, they seem to spawn very fast in higher level locations and uh, once you have 10 chronicle fragments you can turn them in for a uh, boost in divination XP there's two places that you can turn in the chronicle fragments if you have not completed the world wakes quest then you can turn them in um, south of Lumbridge where or south of Draenor village where you first start divination you turn them into the leader there her name is May or something like that um, if you already have completed the World Wakes quest, you can turn these Chronicle Fragments in at the Altar of Guthix. So basically, you just want to teleport to Ardy. Uh, I'm not going to show it because it's pretty straightforward to get there. If you've completed the World Wakes quest, you know what I mean. Teleport to Ardy and run east and go into the big Guthix Temple thing. And um, yeah, you just use your Chronicle Fragments on the Altar. It doesn't give great XP. Um, at level 20, I only got 20 Divination XP per uh, Chronicle Fragment, so it's really not great XP-wise. But um, you do get a large amount of Hunter XP every time you capture these Chronicle Fragments. It depends on your level. Um, I get 990 Hunter XP every single one I ca capture, so that's great. That really helps a lot if you need to train a little bit of Hunter or whatever. But anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys quickly the next two locations uh, for level 30 divination and level 40 divination, um, just to help you guys out a bit. So at level 30 divination, this is the location where you want to be. It's actually just south of Sears Village by the Flax Field, and you can harvest the Glowing Springs here, which it, obviously you need level 30 to do that. There's already quite a few people at level 30, but uh, I imagine these are better XP. I can't harvest them because I'm only level 21. But uh, this is where you want to go once you reach level 30. And at level 40, this is where you want to go. The fairy ring code to get here is AJR. And here's the divination spring. And you can harvest the sparkling wisps. Um, and there is no one here at the moment because I believe no one on this world has level 40 yet because divination has only been out a couple hours. But anyway, this is where you want to go at level 40. And if you really want to know um, exactly where the all, all the locations for divination are on a so I'll show you a trick. You can just go to your quick chat function and then type in divination and you can click um, find the option that says try training your divination and then they're all right here. Um, it's probably also in the divination skill guide as well uh, in, in game but see um, for example if you want to train at level 60 you just click on that to the west of mobilizing armies. So that's a really easy way to find exactly where all the locations are. But I hope that this guide helped you out a little bit. I obviously don't know very much as of yet because I've just started the skill as well. But I'll be growing in knowledge and definitely making more guides on divination once I know more about it. Um, but at the moment, it seems like a pretty straightforward skill. Um, it's very slow, but uh, I'll do my best to train and try to get 99.